Well, weather-wise around here, it's going to be a tough day to sit indoors and do any schoolwork. You may want to do it outside for that matter. Yesterday afternoon, for that matter, was a pretty good-looking day, too. Checking the Almanac out at SeaTac, we hit 63 degrees out at the airport, uh, a degree below normal, but still a beautiful afternoon around the area. And today, we're going to pick up, oh, I don't know, about uh, 8, 10 degrees on what we had yesterday. So you want to definitely get out and enjoy that later on. Checking uh, the view there for Everett Tower Camp, showing things brightening up uh, nicely. A lot of high clouds out there. We're going to have those drifting through today but they're just going to filter that sunshine. This is almost a replay of what we had last Thursday, that one really beautiful day. So I guess we're getting one a week now. That's our quota. Perhaps it'll increase to two as we get farther into the month of May. Though, just as a side uh, mention, I would say that the extended models are indicating the second half of May may be above normal for temperatures rather than below as we are right now. So we'll keep an eye on that as we get a little bit closer. Checking the view in uh, Olympia, not looking quite as bright, but that's probably more of a function of the camera looking away from the sunrise than towards it. And a different story there looking across Delia Bay, a nice looking morning developing and just a few high clouds, at least when you're looking out towards the east. Temperatures are cooler this morning. We're in the low to mid 40s most spots uh, from our school net sites, a few upper 30s in the cooler places. Satellite image does show, and radar combined, does show the system off the coast and some showers off the coast. Those will not be making their way in here until tomorrow afternoon. So it's going to be sitting out there and in front of that system, southerly winds are going to bring warmer air in here and that's what's going to help push us up towards that 70 degree mark for a lot of places. If headed towards the mountains today, it's going to be a beautiful place to be. They're going to be looking for uh, sunny skies, just the high clouds filtering the sun. High temperatures at the pass levels today in the upper 50s and low 60s. That snow level rising up to about 9,000 feet. Coast, uh, they're going to see the clouds will be a little bit thicker, the high clouds, but still a good day there with high temperatures. That should read mid-60s to near 70 degrees. And our extended forecast, so around here, sunshine, upper 60s and low 70s. We'll start dry tomorrow, but an increasing rain in the afternoon, turning a little breezy as well. Highs dropping back to the mid-60s. Showers, sun breaks in upper 50s to near 60 degrees for Friday. Over the weekend and for Mother's Day, partly sunny, just a slight chance of a shower both days. Probably dry for most spots. High temperatures running mostly in the low to mid-60s. And right now, at least the first half, if not all of next week, is looking dry with temperatures running a little above normal into the mid-60s. Let's check in with Stephen.